Hello everyone, this is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com. Welcome and thank you for being here with me today. Hey Tina, welcome. How are you doing today? We have a super fun card today. Um, I have, let me see, like four more options and if we have time we can make another one. It's really, really simple to make but it has, it's, it has like a wow but it's just fun so much fun we're gonna have some fun uh you guys if you don't remember if you don't know if you're new here i am a stamping up demonstrator and i would love to spoil you guys with my reward systems starting with a free catalog and let me tell you we have a new catalog coming um september 6th i am so excited for you all to be able to check in those uh, the new products they have beautiful beautiful things for holiday and i don't know if you guys heard of this today uh, but we actually have five different designer series paper sets that will be um, added to our online store i am in heaven because if you guys have been here before you know i'm kind of a paper addict i have to admit hey elizabeth Hello, Colleen. How are you guys doing? Oh, you're here. Yay. I'm so glad you're here, Colleen. <laughs> so super excited about those news from Stamping Up. Um, I got a chance to check into our um, demonstrator website for the papers, and they also have like a video. Oh, my God. So beautiful. They have one. Hey, Betty, how are you? They have one that it's called Traditions with Say Nick or something like that. And it just actually matches my very good friend. It matches that. It is amazing. I think, I did not get to see it all, but I think that the, they have a paper that has actually so, uh, St. Nicholas there and um, that you can actually cut with the dies. You know how they love to do that. I am super, super excited, guys. So anyways, 9 September 6th, it's the day. Don't, don't hesitate to go and get your new stuff. Second announcement, don't forget, 30 per, up to 30% off in our kits. You don't want to miss that. And finally, um, this is the rewards you will get from me if you buy $50 before cheaping in taxes in products at my own nice store. Hi, Diana, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, which will be changing here in September for the, um, I still have not decided yet if I wanna do the um, Berry Christmas uh, set, uh, little Berry Christmas memory card pack, or the masks. One of the two is going to be um, the the new gift you will get from me. Okay, guys, let's go to the crafting table. What are we going to be using today? I'm trying to be, hey, Anita. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're so good at doing that. Guys, if you can help me by sharing um, my the video and give it a thumbs up, well, I know you can't give it a thumbs up yet because you have not seen the video, but at least you can share it. <laughs> um, that will help me immensely here in YouTube. And I know you know that because you're probably seeing everybody asking for the same thing. So we have, I am mainly going to use the little monkey, but we are going to be using the rhino ready as well. This card is called... <laughs> a wash line I actually put it in here because I knew I was gonna forget wash line easel card I guess it's an older type of card because um I found it on Pinterest no way really and I actually found it from Lavon and she was here last week um and I I was telling her we were messaging and I was telling her I'm gonna be using one of your cards I didn't tell her which so just despite the curiosity um but it is a super cute card this is causing an awful glare um I I did make the um, measure I mean I had to come up with the measurements because she has not like it's not attached to a blog or something so I, I was not sure I am going to show you so the main one is vertical right so this is the main one this is the one we're going to be doing today hello my 
beautiful um, template. But I did work the measurements um, for a uh, horizontal one. I did not make any of this. So I I work out the measurements. I'm just not sure if they're really going to work. Um, I don't see why it would not work, but, um, but just in case, I want you to know that I did, did work this out, um, but I did not make any cards horizontal. So uh, I really wanted to practice the vertical one. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to start with a piece of, almost got it, four and a quarter by 11. Hi Kiwi, how are you today? I hope you guys are all doing great. And this Tuesday has been magnificent. And I'm gonna bring my absolute best friend who is getting a little rough in here. Um, and we are going to align these at three quarters. So when I started this, um, I'll explain this later, sorry. So the four and a quarter, towards the top of the trimmer and we're lining at three quarters. We're going to go at one inch and we're going to cut all the way to 10 and a half. I think these measurements, you can totally vary them and make it a little bit different. Um, I just stick with, with what worked for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate it because I didn't want to get too excited and then try to figure out something, uh, you know, through the weekend. Now we're going to go to three and a half and we're going to do the exact same cut. And I'm using this color, which is not the card base we're going to be using today because the card base is going to be an early espresso and it's much easier for you to see. And if we have time, we'll use this card base for our other card. Okay, so you have two very long cuts for whatever reason I am cutting without energy. Because I think this is it's not the blade, this me. <laughs> so it's just weird. Um, you know how I usually tell you guys you can use your right, um, the right side of your trimmer. You can totally do that. But when you are going to move again, so let's see, I just did this. What I would do, I may turn this around. And so you will have actually the different, um, you know, this would be the smaller um, cut because this is cut at one inch and this is cut a half inch, right? And so I ended up, I mean, I did it once and I was like, oh my God, I got a little bit confused. And so I figured that it's easier to just use your left side and um, do the quarter at the three and a half, okay? So that's the first step. The second step is we're gonna turn this around. Here is the one inch, you can totally tell it's a little bit bigger. And we're going to line there at inch, at the one inch, and we're going to score between the two cuts. And then we're going to move to two and a half, and we're going to score between two cuts, between those two cuts. And then we're going to move to four, all the way to four, there it is, and we're going to actually cut between the cuts. Okay, so cut slowly. I always say this, it's much better to have to use your snips a little bit later than to, um, you know, go a little bit, uh, go over. And then we're going to move to five and a half and we're going to score, but we are going to score all the way. You can totally do this separate. So like do the scoring first and then the cuts. I thought it was a little bit easier to do it all together as long as you kind of like remember that one is cut and one is scoring. Um, but yeah, you can totally do separate. Now we're going to move to seven and a half and we are going to cut again between those two cut lines. And finally, we're going to go all the way to 10 and a, to 10 and a half. If you hear some noises, is my, one of my dogs here making noises, same as always. And now we're going to score at that 10 and a half inch mark, okay? So this is what we got. I can tell that we have here some, some leftovers from my back cuts. I don't know what's going on with me in my cuts here. See, same in here, it's so weird. Um, and but see, if I if I put the right pressure, it's cutting. I am not sure why I'm not 
putting the right pressure in this. I'm going to pull this out. You can save this for later if you need it. I am going to put it there, but you probably can't throw it away. And this is really all we need from the cut. Now, let's go and do the folds. So we are going to start. Now, this is funny because the front is actually this part. So I'm going to start with this part. So we already get used to that. That big flap is the front and everything is full mountains okay so we have one okay then we come to the five inch mark and we'll score those i mean we'll crease those score lines and then we come to that middle panel and we'll also score that i mean crease that mountain and the final final one is that one that we did actually first and that one is also mountain so this is how your card is going to look like let me remove this this is going to be added here and there's going to be a sw swinging line and it's just going to be super super cute guys let me cut again this for whatever reason please let me know if there we have any issues with the um internet uh i i always kind of try to monitor that since we had so many issues in the past um so let's see just making sure it seems like it's all going well but just in case so these actually you may not believe these i don't have a whole lot of pieces for this card of extra layers Ta -da! it had to happen huh i'm going to move these because this is not the one we're going to be using i'm going to be using our um early espresso and i am going to remove this one again i don't know what's going on with me and that blade it's super weird i'm going to put that there and we are going to fold this one again so i'm going to start again on the front uh, actually i'm doing this a little bit for me because i think that because the first time anyways because i started you know you start on the other side i kind of really got confused at some point and so um yeah it's much easier to start that way guys if i could show you where my dog is she's just like right against my leg so if i kind of look like i'm falling it's because she's right there next to me <laughs> and we're gonna fold this one again mountain so it's all mountain pretty simple on that end too and the last one will be mountain as well okay so this is what we got now i wanted this darker color because i really wanted to use some fun paper and now we are going to be using this star this is from the stargazing suite i was looking in our in our new um how you say this in a new paper dsp that we have available and i actually couldn't find like anything that had like green and like leaves right so i did try to create my mind but i was not too impressed so i didn't like it very much i just like kind of blended some um this was from the bright and beautiful and i blended some in some extra parakeet party and whatever and stamped some of the of these um leaves that are from the little monkey but i did not I don't know. I just do not really, really love it. I have to be honest with you guys. So I decided that we can totally use this like that. And then we will, um, we will use a lot of other leaves. What do you guys think? Is this one better or is this one better? I, so I tell you what, I like this because you can totally fill this out with leaves and whatever, which is part of my idea. Um, and this already has some leaves, so I don't know if it's going to be too busy. Um, I'll wait a couple of minutes because, oh well, yeah, a few seconds because I know that it is always um, a little bit behind the, whoops, let me do something, guys, sorry. So let me know which one you will prefer if you will prefer the dsp i made or the stargazing one let's see oh the blade okay thank you 
You may be right, Elizabeth. I'm reading because the, it takes some time for it to get here for whatever reason. Yeah, you may be right. It may be that the blade, um, that the blade guy is is dirty. I don't know. I I I have to clean it. I guess I am not very good at taking care of my poor tools in spite of how much I use them. So let me know, guys, which one do you prefer? Either or. Um, I'm trying to make sure that we're all kind of in the same spot. So let me know, guys. In the meantime, I do have a color combination or a, some papers for here. And I did, it was funny. I, I, I just couldn't make up my mind with this one. Um, but I am using a little piece of the, see, look at that. <laughs> this is a little piece of the uh, Cheerful Daisies paper, but I'm just using it as the DSP you like better. I'm just using this as a guide, maybe. So maybe I'll just use that. Okay, let's see. I'll cut these real quick. These pieces are five and five and three eighths. So I always tell you guys to kind of cut like that, right? It's a little bit easier. By five, by okay. Here's five, five and three eighths. By sorry. It's five and three eighths. Five five and three eighths is the length, and it's five eighths. <laughs> it's five eighths both ways. Okay, so this is five eighths. Sorry about the confusion, guys. And now we're going to align these at five and three eighths. That's where the confusion came from, and we're going to cut those. Okay, so it's very very simple. This card, I love it because of that. Um, and we are going to, I'm going to put this in here and we're going to go ahead and bring our paper here and glue this. And yes, I am going to be using glue most of the time, I think, because I am, well, I am liking glue nowadays. We're, we're getting to be really good friends, I think, but mostly because I really, really like the flexibility it gives. And because these are so thin. I think it's harder to like kind of calculate off the batch if you want. I am paying much more attention to the top than I am paying to the bottom because the bottom is going to be covered. We're going to make grass-ish, I guess. And we are going to have the same thing. We're going to bring this one here. And we're going to cover this. So really now from now on is mostly decorating. And I think that that's amazing because we are just going to have fun decorating this. So again, I was telling you guys, I kind of come up with these piece for this one goes in the back and this one goes in the front. The truth is this is going to be totally like covered for most, most of it. And I just wanted some like kind of resemblance of leaves in the back. I just made a little, little piece of this and I don't think I'll be able to um, utilize it in here. So I am not even gonna try that one, but this one is the one that's gonna be more noticeable. And that just gets right. How does that happen this quick? I have no clue. Let's see. I have one little opener here. <laughs> And it's kind of difficult. It's not going through, guys. Well, maybe not. Let's see. I have a. I ha, I, I thought I bought a new one that was more or less the same one, but it looks like. See, this one is the one that works. The one that is all twisted and I've used like a hundred times. Um, <laughs> looks like it's not gonna work. Okay, so for whatever reason, this is kind of stuck. I'm gonna bring these. I'm gonna bring the big guns and we're gonna use that. And again, this paper, I'm just using for a little like the differenti differentiation. That's a tough word. Um, I ended up cutting a lot of leaves from the Rhino Ready. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, uh, have had that bundle, but that bundle brings into the dies a lot of like little extras. And one of the extras are these leaves, and I really, really like them. 
Um, and I cut a ton of them in several colors. So I did use shaded spruce and I think garden green and parakeet party or lemon lime. Like I use a, a variety of colors because I just figured that, um, you know, the the jungle, quote unquote, is never one color only, or just you, you won't see just one color of green, right? It has all sorts of varieties of colors. And I wanted to play with that just to create that idea. Okay, this moved a tiny bit. That's the only thing I think that is not super cool about, about glue is that it moves. Um, like if you are like me and you're not paying a lot of attention, it, it just moves and, and you I, like there, like, it, I don't know why it just moves. It's just so weird. Okay. So this is mainly the card. The next thing I'm going to do, and you guys may, may laugh about this. I may not need this, but <laughs> I'm going to come up, turn around my paper and I'm going to bring a little piece, a little piece of tear and tape. And I'm going to align it here. And that's maybe the one we use to tie or to glue our um, our wash line or, you know, the, the thing that's going to be holding something. Um, I'll show you what I mean, but I'm going to have to show you some of the cards and that will not be nice. Okay, so this is mainly the card. Ta-da! You're done. The next step is we're going to put some glue in here, right? Sufficient glue and just fold over and glue these. I'm going to hold it here for a second so um, it really glues well. In the meantime, I'm going to bring all the little pieces that I got because you guys know me. I always got all this stuff. I don't know what this is not working with, but I, am, I really am going to need this later on. So I am hoping this seems like it it's working okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring these piece now these beautiful piece i know i'm a little bit ahead now try not to do this but these belongs to the rustic crate dies um and it's supposed to be like a which works so well here um like a little oh my god how you call this well like a little wooden I forgot the name of it, guys. But, you know, like those, those, oh, my God, I'm thinking in Spanish. Um, those things that you put, you know, kind of announcing the place. So this works wonderful. I absolutely love this. And we're going to probably be hanging, quote, unquote, here these. And so we're going to go ahead and stamp this so we get the stamping out of the way. And I'm going to bring garden green. No, there's too much green. Let's bring the early espresso. And this stamp is from a little monkey, and it just says, just swinging to say, swinging by to say hi. You guys know I am not absolutely very good at trying not to put my big head and making this straight. So let's, oh, there's my big head. I'm oh, sorry, guys. It's just super hard to see with um with the glare and i know i've told you that okay so i'm going to put that there we're going to put this aside and we're going to work on it and that way we get rid take get rid of like a fence no elizabeth i'm not thinking of a fence you'll see when i'm i'll show you the well and when we finish this what i am what i mean so as you guys can tell i have like i, I had another one just in case i missed that one <laughs> I have a, a huge variety of things in here um, to play with. Uh, the first one is I have three monkey, the three monkeys that the set brings, okay? And uh, of course I color them and these are fussy cat, of course, uh, fussy cut. Of course you could see that because I, I'm really not very good fussy cutter. But guys, you know, I, I always say if I can do it, you guys can do it because <laughs> it's totally true. So what colors did I use for the monkey? I'm bringing them up here so you know. And I've said this in the past. I like my skin tones, but I like them mix them match. And so for this one, I'm using the skin tone like the 100, the 300, and the 500. I love this color combo for the monkeys. It really worked very, very well. And then for the faces, I used these two. So this, 
yes, the 900 and the 700. I try to use, let me show you. Well, I ended up, yeah, I ended up correcting it. it I think it was this one. I used the lightest of them all, so the, the, the 1000, um, and it was too pinkish. It was, it did not resemble well, like the color that I was hoping for. And I think you can tell there here in the, in the ears, whoops, I'm off. There, in the ears, like it's too, too pinkish. But um, I used a little bit more of, I think it was the 700 to kind of light it up a little bit. So that worked well. So I'm using the three monkeys. And of course, this monkey is going to be hanging from the line, I guess. I did get from the same one, from the same, um, oops. From, from the same stamp set, I got these leaves, and of course I fuss cut those, and we'll put this together here in a minute. I did get a lot of bananas. I don't know if it was that I was hungry when I was painting, when I was coloring or what, but I did cut a few bananas. You can totally cut the bananas with the um, with the actual punch, right? So I cut a few of them. I'm going to put them here on the side because those are smaller. And then these are, this is what I was telling you guys. I have a few leaves and a few extra leaves from the rhino ready. And this is a leftover. <laughs> this has got nothing to do there. And so these are the leaves I cut in different colors. You can see I have chased the spruce. I have, um, Garden green. This, I want to say the lemon lime. And the last one, that one is the apple granny. And these are the grass from Rhino Ready. So it's stamped and colored that. And as you can tell, I messed that up. So let me show up here. So I messed that up. So I'll have to figure out how to cover that one. <laughs> So let's start decorating because I think that's the funniest part of this card. The other thing we're going to be using is, I'm going to be using these. This is the, um, it's called Metallic Woven, woven Ribbon. And it belongs to uh, the 20, this is technically speaking Parakeet Party. And it belongs, it, it wasn't last year's catalog, but you can still get it. Um, I love it. I love, love, love this ribbon. I think it's super, super useful. I wish I didn't lose my, and I, I cut a big piece because I figured I needed, I need some help with this, right? So I don't want anything that will make it more complicated. So let me put this back out in there, maybe. There we go. And that's the one that I have. If you don't have that one, you can totally use this one that belongs in the ribbon duo. Um, I was checking today and I also kind of decided that it is, it is, seems logical to me to offer you guys um, with other options, right? I also have this green one. Don't ask me. This is probably an old one that I, I don't know where I got there. <laughs> but there are many, many options in within the ribbons that we have from stamping up. The last thing I want to, I'm, I'm moving my dog here so hard, is um, this ribbon. Actually, this is not ribbon. The, this jute trim came last in last mini catalog. I don't know, like these three came together. So you can totally use that one or even Pebble Path um, if you have that. So you have plenty of options within Stamping Up's products to kind of mix and match, right? And I want you to feel that that's one of the good things about Stamping Up is that no matter how old the DSP or the, uh, I don't know, the well, the stamp set or or the colors, no matter how old, whatever you have, how retired it is, in the end, you'll be able to reuse it because we have that wonderful um, color, you know, color, not color combination, but color matching, right? I think it's just wonderful. So let's start. I'm going to shut up now. So this is how this is going to look. This is, it stands like that. And it turns super, super cute. So this is what I was telling you guys. So I had, when I, when I, um, we're going to start these up to down. When I was doing the other ones, I had the hardest time. Yes, Anita, I always, I really like, you know, guys, I really, really like my coloring. I cannot help it. Um, it it's just so therapeutic for me that um, I can't help it. I'm going to bring my crop 
well, my cockadrile. Um, I've told you guys a lot about this friend, <clears throat> but before I go any further, let me do this something here. Because this looks like it's not very, what will be the, it's not very, um, very jungle-ish, right? It's, it looks too, too white. So I'm gonna just like come with, this is a leftover, Ugh, that's copper clay, it looks like. Hmm. Well, we're gonna do the copper clay and we're going to just put a little bit in there. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna bring the pecan pie. Hey, Adrian. Oh, oh how fun, how fun at uh, the game. That sounds so cool. Yeah, I like the pecan pie. I think pecan pie is one of my new, my favorite newest colors. I love this brown. It's super, super beautiful. Um, so this is more jungle, right? Oh my God, how cool. Well, you were, don't worry. You have fun with your grandkids and um, yeah, that's all you need. But um, this one is a fun one. Okay. Oh, I'm bringing this one. Okay. So back to these, please. So after I said, Hey, Kayla, how are you? Oh my God. Good morning. <laughs> I love that. Um, in spite that I said that I rarely ever, that, you know, I didn't really use it a lot. I realized how useful this thing is. So now I use it like every time I can. So I am just going to bring it. You can use whatever you have closer to you. I'm looking which one is the smallest. I think this is the smallest, right? Yeah. And I am just really not even paying a whole lot of attention, but I am putting here like a little hole in here. You can use something different. Um, it, this works very, very well because of um, the, the hole is not very big, right? I, I Initially, I was going to try to use my regular big puncher, right? Like the one I always bring out. But that, that hole is so, so big that it was like, no, that's not going to work for me here. Um, so I didn't do that one. And, of course, we're going to try to get this through. This is going to go, so the ribbon is going to go underneath and like so. And again, we're going to start building up, down. I don't think that's the normal thing for me. I usually, I think I start down up, but today we're going to do that because we really need to figure out what, you know, where this is going to stand to create whatever we're going to put in here. And I'm going to go and let's see. And that's why I was telling you guys about putting this because putting this when this is close, or so putting the turn tape when it's close, let me tell you, it's complicated. I did that for one and I was like, what was I thinking? So I did that kind of, I put a mental note, you have to do this before or it's actually there because otherwise it's going to be a problem. So I am just going to give this, I, you can totally tie it. I did tie some of them um, and I did not love it. Um, I don't know. It just didn't look so well. You, you, you'll be the uh, judges of it. I just did not love it. So what I am doing is I'm aligning these as best as I can here. And I am looking, I don't know if you guys can, you can barely see. So there is my turn tape and I am just going to put this in there, right? And glue it, glue it to it. This is going to stay a little bit sticky. So I am like unsticking it. Unsticking it, unsticking it. Okay, whatever. I am trying to take off the the rest of that uh, stickiness for because we don't need it, right? And so, and we are going to do the same thing. I'm I'm a, I'm working on the back. This is much easier for me. I'm leaving these there, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring my tear and tape. And I know you can barely see what I am doing, but I'll show you here in a minute, and it makes it make make more sense. Okay, so this one is there, and, and yeah, it is a whole lot um, what it looks like, and again, like I just preferred it this way. Um, okay, so I'm tightening these up so it's tight, 
and it's not completely loose and I am adhering that there and yes I'm doing my thumb thing so this is how this is going to look in the end in here you can totally tie this in the back I found out and maybe you guys have a good tip for me I found out that this ribbon does not like to tie <laughs> Like I tied a knot on another one, I'll show you here. And it just did not stay and it was very frustrating, which is why I came up with that, right? So you can totally tie a knot in here and um, try to make it stay. I, again, I tried and it did not. So um, just for the record, it just did not. But again, you can totally try and, and get it, you know, set up in a way that it works for you. I'm going to leave it there. We'll cut this later on. It does not need to be cut right now. And then that is how this is going to look. Okay, that needs to be off. And that's the first piece. So the second piece we're going to do, I'm going to bring these two trees ish. <laughs> and we are going to glue this. Now, I like the whole idea is that our monkey is hanging from there, right? So I am going to put this towards the top so it kind of makes more sense right and that one didn't move and we're going to bring the other one and we are going to do the same now be mindful that this is four and a quarter right and so you do need to put this we'll be mindful of that of those leaves um, and kind of put them at the same um, height right so it does okay come on glue you're being mean to me today just as just as i'm promoting glue come on guys so you it doesn't matter that this goes off here because these does not it should not come this way right it will come that way so it will not create a problem now we are going to bring our hanging friend and i i kind of left this on purpose open like that but not completely open um, so I could hang him sort of in here, right? So it looks like he's really hanging, <laughs> but we're going to glue him with, um, exactly like the sign and a sign. That's the word, Elizabeth. You're amazing. Thank you so very much for thinking for me. So I am going to go back, put our monkey here aligned with that and then we are going to glue him i put some glue on that edge okay this glue today is not working with me like that and i am just going to leave him attached with that amount of glue um so it's kind of like moving with the the what's in, with the sign the sign the sign yay a sign guys so that that gives that impression that he's like really hanging right <laughs> but there's enough glue hopefully there that it will stay thick um and we'll see if that's true now let's go back to the bottom i do have another piece and don't forget guys i have the pdf tutorial it will be linked to this today It'll be linked here probably today or tomorrow. It depends on, I have to take, you. I tell you guys all the time, I have to take the pictures and have to edit them and add, add them to the tutorial and whatnot. So it may not be here right away. So this is just a piece of, uh, it's one, in, uh, one inch by four and a quarter. And I wanted to just cover that. And this is really kind of just a, I don't even know how to call it. It's, it's, it's kind of just to put it there because we're going to build um, upon here we're going to bring some of those pieces we have and we're going to going to start building so I'm going to bring this is the one that has like a thing so I'm going to put this one in here because my thought is I'm going to put probably the monkey around here and <laughs> so it will cover that <laughs> so I'm bringing this monkey and so I'm trying to see where he's going to be so I'm moving these as much as I can that way but I'm being mindful of that so this monkey is going to go here. I'm going to put the grass in here, only on the bottom, guys, because it needs to be, um, and I'm going to go move it, not all the way, but towards the, towards the edge. I'm moving it a little bit because I, I want these to show a whole lot more. And he's going to stay like this. Now the next piece, and that's why I have three pieces, um, is going to go here and he, this one is going to go like around here. So we're going to create something in here. So this pops up when, when this comes out. 
So let's focus on this area. I'm going to bring this other piece and we are going to put this one up here. I'm going to center them both, kind of like that. And now I'm going to bring all those leaves I have, right? All our, all our collection. And we're going, just going to put them anywhere. So I want a darker one in there. So there's a little bit more contrast. And again, we're just creating our own little zoo, or not zoo, our own little jungle. Um, and I'm going to put this one in here again for some more contrast. And I'm going to, hey, Amanda, how are you? Oh, my God, I have two people from Australia. That is so, so cool. That's the coolest thing ever. And I'm going to bring this one. So we kind of like cover that, um, right, that piece in there. Um, and then we're going to bring another one in here. I'm going to put this one in here and I'm actually going to put it towards the edge in here, looking that way. I'm moving this there, there. So our monkey is going to, oh, that's amazing. Thank you. I am so glad that you guys are here with me. Thank you so much. So we are creating again, our little jungle. Maybe I cut a whole lot more than I needed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that does not surprise us, right? That does not surprise anybody. You can totally put some of these in here if you want it. I just am starting to not see the need. But I'm going to cut that short a little bit. And maybe that one too. Sorry, guys. And we'll go and, you know, you can't move this a little bit here. Come on. Work with me. You know. Mm, what do you guys think? I think it's too much. Don't you think? Feels like too much right now. Um, but we can still work on this a little bit if we want it. So I'm putting this monkey here and I'm leaving him there. Um, I am actually now, I do I do think we need a couple in here. Kind of to cover that. Ah, see? That is so not cool glue. And so we're going to put one in here. And I'm going to twist it a little bit like that. And then I'm going to bring another one. Um, let's see, one of the lightest, lightest, lightest one, the, this is lemon lime, lemon lime, gosh, and then we're going to, I kind of put it covered like that. Okay. So this monkey is going to have like a banana in his hand. Um, Oh, thank you, Kayla. I really appreciate that. That's so kind. Um, so I'm going to bring like this little thingy here, this banana. And he's eating, right? So it should look like this. Okay, let me bring him up here. Kind of. So he's eating a good banana. Hey, Diane, how are you? I am so glad you guys are here. So Diane and Adrian, if she's still here, she is on... Um, Facebook. So this kiddo is eating and remember that I had all those bananas. So I, my thought was, I mean, we're not going to make the, oh, thank you, Diane. We're going to, we can't make like an actual banana. I don't know how you call them together when they're all together, but I think that we can just like try to put them kind of such, right? Kind of like that. So we can decorate some of them in here. We can put one in here. And I keep thinking that this monkey needs to have a banana kind of like giving it to him. I don't know. But that's that's kind of what I thought of. <laughs> okay, we are going to need, and I don't know where I put my... Huh. Okay, I'm going to use this piece of... Uh, that's a leftover. I'm going to bring my trimmer. I did not cut this one. I completely forgot about this step. And I'm going to cut these. Let me see if this is going to work. And this is going to work perfectly. So I'm going to cut this at three quarters. Because we need the spot for um, to kind of get the pop-up there going. And let's see. This is three and a half. So it's going to work perfectly guys. That's so funny. And now we're going to score. We're going to score at, at three quarters again. 
Okay, we got one score. We're going to move to one and a half, and we're going to score. So we are scoring every three quarters of an inch. We are going to score now at two and a quarter. And don't forget, all those, all those measurements are going to be included in the PDF tutorial. And then we're going to score at three. Okay, and now we have a little. This last one is the flap that we are going to add. Um, here. I am just folding these. Okay, let me move all my little pieces out of the way. We can decide later if we want to add more. So I'm just moving these and it's mountain, 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 right? And we're just going to create a little square that we're going to put in the back of that. And for this one, actually, I'm going to bring my um, tear and tape. And I'll tell you why. So I did, you'll see some of them. Um, and I'll show you all my mistakes so you can, you know, Avoid those. Um, and I use glue to get these pieces attached, right? And and it just, I don't know if it was that I moved it too much or was trying to play with that too much. I, I really don't know. But it was not, like it ended up being loose, kind of loose. And it, it just did not work well. So I realized that um, I definitely needed to just use tear and tape, which is much easier for that. When you want to fold these and glue these, just fold this flap that has the glue and we're going to attach it, just fold it together and look at that, that's easy, super easy. And now, this is what I was telling you, we need to figure out where we're going to put this friend. So we need these because this is going to cover our mechanism um, like this and not you, here's the other monkey and the monkey that's going to be like, it has to be attached all on all the way like to the edge, right? Unless you want to put it separately, you can totally do that. Um, and I'm thinking maybe towards this edge like that. So this is going to pop up like this. And I'm just trying to make sure that maybe like this, I'm going to turn him a little bit like that. So he's holding the banana he's giving to our friend here. So let's see how that goes. Maybe we can recreate that, right? So this is more or less where I want my my little mechanism. And yes, I'm going to try to do our tear and tape again. Not try, we're going to use tear and tape again. Because that's just easier. Um, and, and you guys know I love my tear and tape. I don't use it often in the videos because it definitely takes some time to take the backing off. And um, yeah. I am that person that I'm like, yeah, whatever. So this is how this is going to go. This goes attached to here. We decided that that was kind of good enough, right? I think it is. Yes, it will be, I think. So there is, it's not centered because he's coming this way, right? So now we're going to bring our piece of grass that we are going to actually let me do this. I'm going to build this a little bit. I'm going to put a little leaf in the back, maybe. I may do that later. You are going to put the glue on the mechanism. It's much easier. And this is the one that totally needs to be aligned with that mechanism. So I'm going to glue this and I'm going to show you. Ah, of course, if it doesn't, if it doesn't move. You see what I'm saying? No, you can't see because you're not seeing. So this is aligned with the mechanism. This cannot be further down because if it's further down, it won't, it won't work. It won't stand up. Okay. So we have our friend there. And now we're going to bring our little monkey who can be, I mean, it kind of goes the same thing, right? If it, if it, it is not aligned here, then it will totally, um, interfere with the mechanism so it won't stand up but it can't be floating like that like it's kind of happy right there right so it gives so he's giving again the banana to our friend so i am i'm gonna put some glue in here and in his legs which is i think and see again he is aligned with that. So nothing beyond that. That's our boundary there. And I'm going to bring our banana. And we're going to give it to our friend in here. And I put far too much glue. So 
let me remove that so it's not a mess and again he is going to have it like that and giving it to our friend kind of like that and now we're going to bring our friend which we are going to pop up in dimensionals because you know of course why not <laughs> you guys know i love my dimensionals there's there's no no second guessing i'm actually going to remove this one a little bit towards here and we'll get there and then we'll have one in the middle so he and i know i put far too many dimensionals but it's fine it's totally fine guys and he is going to be in here like that and now we just have our the leftover bananas that we, you know we got around and i am going to put put them around here so i'm just like going to hmm. I was um, trying to make it work like that, like they are belonging to the tree, but it's not working very well. So it's fine, guys. It's fine. And then let's see. And I put another one in there, right? My, obviously, Jesus, Maria. This one I actually cut. Fussy cut, and as you can tell, I didn't do a very good job. So I am just going to round up a little bit. <laughs> before we actually glue it. And we have a few others and I'm going to put one there, like hiding in the, not in the trees, in the leaves, just like that. And I thought I had another one. Well, I guess our bananas disappeared. Fine. Well, I thought I bought, I bought, I didn't buy, but oh, I see there's one more. And I'm going to put this one in here just because so it kind of like, eases off that transition from between the die cut that I colored and just the the um, paper, the cardstock, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so that's our card. I am totally going to cut this guys, hoping it stays. If it doesn't stay, it's not gonna go anywhere because it is attached and that's why I, I did that that way. Okay, we got it guys. So this is going to be, this fits perfectly in an envelope, right? And then it will open like this. And this opens all the way. No, I thought it was not. So this opens all the way. And then you will have, okay, this, there you go. Opens all the way. And then it will, this is kind of like not working for me. So I'm going to put this a little bit forward. So it's not there. Maybe I'll glue it in the back. I just, I can't see it. I, I know you guys can see it. So this, okay, this will open like this. And this is how this will work. There's something here that is not working very well. Oh, I see it. Oh, Maria, I'm so cute. Too many dimensionals. I put a dimensional where I didn't need to put a dimensional, which is this guy's ear. Guys, for real. I was like, why isn't that moving? <laughs> okay, so this is going to sit down like that. So it goes like this, but it will close like this. Okay, so let me show you the other ones I have. Um, I have the, we have the possibility of making another one. Thank you, Elizabeth, um, of making another one. So let me know if you want to stay 20 more minutes, maybe. So this is obviously the Christmas one. Um, very simple to make. It's, this is all paper. The only thing I have extra is the Merry Christmas stamped. And this is using, oh my God, what's the name of it? Let's see. It's the Elegant Edge Topper. Um, and so, and just very simple. This is the one that was giving me a whole lot of issues. And so as you can tell, um, I just, kind of left it like that. I tied it, tried to tie it, but it didn't work. And so this again is the same concept, right? It will open like this. And so you will get this like that and it will close like this. Okay. So just very simple. I did use Stampin' Up! had these like in, th in a three of, um, I don't even remember how they're called. They're retired now, but I did use a lot of these around just kind of to create quote unquote snow, right? Uh, but this is using just the paper. I, this is cutouts from the paper. This is 
a cut out with the punch and this is fussy cut too so super super simple now of course i had to do like a few extras so this is the other one i did this is more fall of course and this is using the pick of the patch bundle um all of it plus that because i ended up loving this sign right and then it opens up it does use the crate this is one that was very soft um, because i i got I got cute and used designer series paper, and I think it needs the actual cardstock. But it uses the crate, which I am absolutely in love with, guys. You, it's amazing because you can put things inside. Um, so I really, really love this one. And again, it, it just opens. It opens like that, and that will stand up. A little crate stands up like that. Um, these and these is from... Oh my god, I have to have it here. I don't I don't remember now. But it's one of my one of those. I think it's two tone flora. Yes, it's from the two. Oh thank you, Anita. Right? That's super cute. Um that bear is adorable. Um this is from two tone flora. And then I did use these. I don't know how you call them. That belongs to it belongs to last year's um one of last year's stamp sets but i really really like this one of course i love these colors right and so and here's where we used that sign and this one is i did the so let me show you here i did the um tie them up here and i just it looks bulky to me so i don't know it will be up to you how you want to do it i like the other possibility better but that in the end looks a little bit bulky to me so that's the second, the third one. And of course, because I really, really, really liked the crate, we have another one with the crate. And this is using whatever is in Rusty Crate. So the whole bundle, um, the crow, and this little pumpkin comes from Pick Up the Patch. And it's just the same concept. I did not do anything here because this was too tall. So I could not add anything, so I had to add it here. Um, but as you can tell, I'm using some of the stuff from last. See how much better this one stands? This. Because it has a cardstock in the back. And this is the one, or this is the one. I think this is the one that I, you know, the glue was just too convoluted. So if you notice, this paper is from the um, artist, Artistically Inked, uh, which is very, very... Not very, but it's quite fallish. So this is the next one. In the last one, yes, I had a fall moment. <laughs> this is using some retired um, stuff. Uh, oh, no, 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 this one's not. Uh, the, I forgot the name of this one, but, you know, I, I love, love this. I just used um, the Alpha, Alpha Best, Alpha Test, Alpha Best. Uh, and uh, now things I learned, this is before I learned how to do the mechanism, right? I, I, I did not understand. So I glue this direct, the, the little bucket directly here. And so it does not stand up like the others. But if you leave it like that, it does well. Like if you close it, it won't do well. But if you leave it like that, it does well. So no problem there. I did tie this up and in the end ended up doing a kind of like, figure out how do i have to figure out i would not recommend i'm saying this because um to dry emboss this because as you can tell it, it makes it flimsier and it's hard, not harder i mean it stands perfectly okay there's no problem with it but it makes it a little flimsy so those are the cards i have for you um these some of these have you know new products that are coming uh, and this is with product from the catalog that you can find out anywhere. Okay, guys, I really, really want you to tell me which one you love better. I think this is just ingenious. <laughs> and this one is just cute, right? But that's because the paper is so beautiful. That 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 um, suite is adorable. So let me know, guys, which one you prefer, which one you like. Um, we did not put any 
bling here and I have a few. So I have a few options. Like I said, I decided that I have to give you options and options. So if you have the rhinestone waves from a while back, um, they have a beautiful green that would totally match. And then these are the actual holiday rhinestones and they have like that deep green i would i want to say this is probably like a kind of shaded spruce so you can use either of those and they will work perfectly okay the last one that i thought that will match is of course this isn't this is going to be in the new catalog and this is an amazing option because it's very similar to that color that we used in you know like in the back of but then i was thinking would well, you need a little bit more Oh, thank you. I am glad you like the monkey, right? Isn't that funny? The monkey is so funny. Um, did you need a little bit more of um, fun with this, right? Like um, contrast is what I'm thinking of. So I was thinking of using these ones from the rhine from the uh, rhinestone waves, and so I'm just going to bring one and put one there. And these are very, very beautiful. I I don't know if you remember these are from. Um, I don't know, they were in the, in the catalog. I just really, really like them because of the colors they had. And so, um, yeah, very, very simple. And like I said, you can totally make like a hundred of these cards, not a hundred, but you can make these very, very simple. Um, I can tell that we're changing seasons because I always get like itchy when it's changing seasons. So this crate is absolutely adorable. I love, love, love this crate. It is amazing, again, because you can fit things through, and it just looks so realistic. Um, I'm in love with it. I actually had created, uh, let me see if I have it here. If you have it here. Like, I was going to make, like, a Christmas one with, oops, that fell off, with these, because this looks amazing, right? This will look amazing. But in the end, I went with the, sorry, guys, I have to pick it up, because otherwise I will lose it. Um, I went with the bears because I thought that would be very, very cute. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. I am so glad you guys like it. Okay, so a lot of fun. It's We have one hour. I want to show you the last one I wanted to do because so you, you know the process, right? But I want to show you because this it's going to be a cute card. Um, so this is using Oh Holy Night because... Or Night Divine. I keep messing that name. Jesus Maria. Yeah, Night Divine. And it's that paper that I really, really like. And so we have one piece here. We'll have these two pieces here, right? And then we'll put, I have like the little house. Whoops. It's, so the little house fits like that. It fits almost perfectly in there. So we can put that one there. We'll move this a little bit here. And here's the Holy Family. And these all won't fit perfectly. Oh, it does fit. I thought it didn't fit. And then you can just decorate further, right? I just wanted to show you a couple things I did differently here because it's so much fun. The first one is I put some extra stuff on the camel. It's just the paper, but I just like cut another piece and put it in. So, you know, just for some creative fun there. And then I did dress up one of the um, shepherds. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, so anyways, you have options here to play with. Um, we're not going to make it just because, right, we don't have a whole lot of time, but you have a lot of ways to make this very, very beautiful. I have an extra uh, wise king in here, and so I had like one of these, so these could go right there, like right up the top, and then this just say peace and joy just like that and so when you open this up this is going to up you know the holy family is going to come up and it's just going to look very nice i think um again putting it all together won't take much time but it will take some time so these are the cards i just this was like the last one last minute one because i always i'm like oh my god and and, and i kept thinking and coming up with other possibilities, right? Oh my God, I like this idea. Oh my like, I like that idea. So, um, but I did get in a little bit carried away with the crates. I really like the crates, guys. Um, there. So, they, doesn't that look amazing? 
So this will look like that. I just love it. Okay, guys, we made it. We made it. I have so much fun making these, guys. I hope you... It's a great way. Yes, Anita, it is. And I, are you talking about about Night Divine? I, I think it's a great way. Um, that said, I mean, I, and I know I've heard some people saying that I, I guess in the past there's been something similar. And I know there's probably a set, a, you know, every year from a stamping company that has more or less the same idea. I'm pretty sure that's how we will. But hey, that's the reason for the season, right? So um it's it, it but it will great it will work really really great with this um so guys thank you thank you so much for being here with me today we are going to um i'm gonna just say goodbye i guess uh let me bring I just, I'm just funny sometimes. Yeah, I think that that one is going to end up beautiful. I probably um, put it on my, on my Facebook so you guys can see the end result. Um, but yeah, super simple to make because it, it has a lot of fun to it, but it's simple. So guys, if you have any questions, please, please let me know. I, I was actually going to come up here. <laughs> Please, please let me know if you have any questions. Again, the PDF tutorial is going to be ready probably um, tomorrow. I want to say for sure tomorrow because, uh, I, again, I have to work on it. Like, it's all written down, but I, I'll have to work on it. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys liked the, um, what, you know, the cards and if you are watching the replay please let me know in the comments which one you like the best and um it was wonderful to hang out with you today guys again have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day one last thing if you could like and share the video oh i almost forgot guys guys you have to help me out here <laughs> Okay, let me see. I almost forgot our um our raffle. That's not cool. Okay, let me let me get to the raffle here. The raffle here. Okay, raffle guys, raffle. I'm gonna do the drum roll. Always make up late anyways. And the winner is for last week is Mike Heim. So I think it's Missy. Missy. <laughs> Missy, she's like, um, it's Missy here, not Mike. Anyways, Missy, hello and welcome. And I hope I know you're not here. I don't think I saw you. Um, but if you um let me do this to see. See you Saturday, Elizabeth. If you I will Remember, I will uh, make a notification in my um, communities in the community section of my channel, so you are able to. I, it will kind of add you or tag tag you is the word, and so you can give me your address, and so I can send you one of the cards from last week. But the Christmas one, I know everybody likes the Christmas one, but. Those are the Christmas, those are my Christmas cards for the people I'm going to send, okay? Guys, thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I do hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a blessed, blessed rest of your week. Have a good one. Goodbye.